there's two burdens. One is the burdens of this world, and then the other is the burden of the kingdom. What God wants us to do is exchange. He says, give me the burdens of this world and take on the burdens of my kingdom. Matthew 11, 28, Jesus said, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And then he didn't stop there. He moves on in the next few verses, 29 and, and, and 30 of Matthew chapter 11. He says, take my yoke. Let me teach you. I am humble and gentle. You will find rest for your soul. My yoke fits perfectly and my burden that I give you is like Jesus says. Isn't that awesome? Well, and I think we've, well, so many of us struggle because we've missed this exchange that God asks us to do. We, instead of carrying the kingdom burden, we're carrying our burden. And God says, I never meant it that way. What I wanted you to do is come into my presence and offload your burden, and I want you to give me your burdens, and I will take care of those things, but in exchange, I want to give you my burden. And I'm glad that Jesus not only said, take my yoke, but he also explained it a little bit. He says, listen guys, take my yoke, but my yoke is what? It's easy. It's light. So don't worry. The work of the kingdom is not going to burn you out. It's not going to make you overwhelmed. But when you take on my burden, it's actually going to become a blessing in your life. It's going to turn into a breakthrough in your life. Think about it for a moment. That donkey carried a burden that day into Jerusalem. And that burden was Jesus on its back. But guess what? Jesus was not just a burden. He was also a blessing. He was also the answer to their prayers. And so the burden actually became a blessing. And this is a kingdom secret that many of us are yet to discover. When you take on the burden of the kingdom of God, it does not bring about problems in your life. As a matter of fact, it brings blessing into your life. When you begin to carry a burden for the things of God, say, Lord, I don't want to live my life for myself, for my own pleasures. I want to take on your burden. Lord, give me a burden for this city. Give me a burden for this nation. Give me a burden for my street. Give me a burden for those who are working along with me. Give me a burden of prayer so I can pray for people. When we begin to say, Lord, I want to become a burden bearer for the kingdom, God says, come on, I'm going to use you to bring about a breakthrough. I'm going to use you to do deliverance. I'm going to use you to be a blessing because when you carry my burden, you actually become a blessing to other people. It's actually a, a, an incredible breakthrough that I can do through you if you'll carry my burden.